Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to be bringing this to you guys. Um, this is an exclusive cut file from scrapbook.com. Um, many of you know already if you've been following me for a little while, I am an affiliate from scrapbook.com and yeah, I love them. So um, some of the affiliates were asked to use some of the new cut files that they are now selling on their website um, and create some projects with them. And this was my very first one. It is the Tis the Season cut file. And I went ahead and backed it off camera because it does take a little while to back it. But look how gorgeous this cut file is. Y'all, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I'm going to leave this part of me putting pop dots on the back just to talk to you guys about the cut files. Um, there are three that were sent to, well, three sets of cut files that were sent to me, and so I will be having more soon. Um, I will have it linked below. It is an affiliate link, so I do make a commission off of it if you purchase through my link. Um, just wanted to throw that out there. I like to be transparent. But it does not cost you any more. Um, it costs the exact same amount. But because you saw it on my channel, I get a small commission. So I'm very excited to be using this cut file. It's been a while since I used one. Um, and my Cricut has been collecting dust. <laughs> um, so it was really fun to do this. So the paper collection that I'm using, which I actually did get from scrapbook.com, a couple months ago is the Merry Little Christmas collection from Pebbles. It's a newer collection and it's got really pretty um, traditional Christmas colors, but then it has aqua and pink thrown into it, like light aqua, light pink and gold. And it's just so pretty to me. I love it so much. I'm so in love with it. So yeah, um, I'm very excited. So the photo that I'm going to be using today is a picture of my daughter Emily catching a snowflake while it was snowing. We were playing outside in the snow. I think this was last year. Um, and we were playing outside in the snow and she was catching snowflakes in her mouth and I took a picture. Um, and so I left a white border around the photo because I wanted that white border. Um, but I'm just going to put one photo mat behind it. Um, and it is from the 6x6 paper pad. The wood grain paper is from Pink Paisley. I forget which collection. I'll try to link it below as well. Um, and then the uh, pattern paper, all of the other pattern paper that I used is from the Pebbles Merry Little Christmas collection. Um, so I also have the die cut ephemera packs. There's two packs here. I think there's like a tags um, and words, and then there's like icons. And so I have them both. I've already created a layout with this collection. Um, so some of my flowers and things are like cut apart, like I've cut them in half and I'm actually going to use those on this layout. Um, I love tucking things behind cut files. Um, first of all, I, popped the whole thing up on pop dots, which like you guys just saw, it took me a hot minute to do that. And, um, I'm going to have the photo kind of peeking out from behind. And then I want to layer embellishments or die cuts kind of peeking out from behind the cut file. So I'm going to play with that for a minute. Um, there, I try several different things and some of the things I just don't like the way it looks. So I end up going in a different direction, which is kind of how it works for me. Um, I try things out. If I don't like it, I move it around, take it off. And that's kind of how I figure out where I want things. Um, and I do have this die cut that says it's cold outside and I popped it up on pop dots as well and put it over top of the S and then I'm going to have some of these poinsettias. There's pink and I'm going to bring in a red one as well. And I'm definitely needing to use this cup of hot cocoa because we definitely went inside afterwards and had some hot cocoa. Um, and I love the candy canes, the candy canes, <laughs> um, peeking out from behind the hot cocoa. And then the little girl rolling a snowball that says, oh, what fun. I just felt like that needed to be on the page as well. Um, and then um, the time for cookies and cocoa, just, I just thought it was adorable. So these are not exactly, that's not exactly where I'm going to put that um, I'm going to move it a little bit. 
Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and start adhering all of these pieces down. I like the way that they're looking. I really, really love the way the leaves and the poinsettias look peeking out from behind the words or the letters of the cut file. I just think it just adds something super cute. Um, and I also used some like a gold glitter cardstock behind some of the cut file and I love the shine and shimmer that it kind of adds to the page without it being like overdone I guess um and what else I think that's just about it um this layout came together pretty quick for me once I got the cut file backed um, and it's really easy to just use six by six paper pads for that as well. So that is one way that you can use up your six by six paper pads, use your scraps to back cut files. I feel like that's just an awesome way to use them. So head over to scrapbook.com and check out this cut file. There are a couple more cut files that you get in the pack um, of this Tis the Season cut files. Um, I'm super excited that I got to play with it and I hope that you guys play with it as well. If you do, share in scrapbook.com's gallery and I would love for you to share on Instagram and Facebook and tag me and I would love to see what you guys create with your scrapbook.com cut files too. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that you all have an amazing day.